Hollywood. I called you here for possible disciplinary action. Again? I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, not by your standards. So what do you want, punk? For starters, you can give me the name of your fence. Why do I need a fence for? Because you walked off with last night's gate. Make it stop. Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the show that's got it all. Action, laughs, excitement, and the world's favorite feisty, funny females, the all-new Glow! We have got the ultimate show today, fans. The Park Avenue knockout, Tiffany Mellon, takes on the Glow original, Hollywood. The country girls, Tulsa and Babe, lock up with a 350-pound voodoo queen, Big Bad Mama. Another episode of a very own situation comedy, Life in the Glow House. Highlights from a match never seen on television before as 30 girls collide in the largest battle royal ever in another glowing moment. And in the main event, the awesome Daisy battles the Glow champion Cheyenne Shear for the coveted crown. We'll be right back with all the action. Tiffany Mellon here with all the latest glow gossip. <laughs> Item, rumor has it that Stinky's parents are of Scandinavian descent. Maybe they were what was rotten in Denmark. <laughs> Item, Roxy Astor only drives foreign cars. That way, if she's caught going too fast, she can say that the speedometer wasn't in English. <laughs> <laughs> Item, Sarah and Mabel admit they came from the wrong side of the tracks. The train used to go right through their house. <laughs> Gossip columnists are just like beavers. We're always busy, but we have a damn good time. <laughs> Ta -ta now.
see your opponent. Oh. Interesting first. Her opponent from Los Angeles, California, Hollywood. Hollywood got the door. Now I know what they mean by toy poodle. Well, Hollywood is back to rule the ring. Beating off people is my thing. Another year of having fun and making my opponents run. Yes! Yes! Missing something. I think there's your problem might be solved here. Oh, she is beating oh, the stuffing out of it. What are you doing? Hey Tiffany, you know what you need? You need a hair transplant. Better yet, why don't I just give it to you when we get in the ring? Cause that's what you're gonna need when I get through with you. High glow fans, motor mouth Mike Morgan monitoring moves and maneuvers in the broadcast booth. The Golden Girl rolls out and catches a foe in a side headlock. The Street Girl stole that pet, and that surprises me. I figured Hollywood thought dog napping meant a uh, sleeping puppy. <laughs> The Park Avenue girl works her into a step over toe hold. I'll show you pretty, Ooh, The Californian shoots her off. Ooh, and she mugs Tiffany with a low kick. I haven't seen Melon in shape this bad since she wore the raised numbers off her credit cards. A reversal. Whoa, ho, ho, she decks her with a hair mare. Hollywood checking her roots to make sure they're still there. This is the East Coast versus the West Coast. And who said never the twain shall meet? We're liable to have a twain whack. The street girl asking if she should break her arm, making no bones about it. But the Park Avenue girl takes her down. Whoa, the Californian returns the favor. Oh, a big splash. This could be it. No, Tiffany forces her off. The only pins she'll accept are diamond studded. Irish whip. She catches her off the ropes. The golden girl dumps her and keeps her down for the pin. No, you'd almost have to staple her shoulders to the mat for the three count. She wheels her around. No, the street fighter puts on the brakes and Tiffany's momentum sends her over the ropes. The New Yorker not expecting that ride, especially with no limo in sight. Ooh, the street fighter drove her back with that blow. Tiffany able to turn the tables. She's fired up like it was sale day at Neiman Marcus. A reversal. Oh, the pillar of the community meets the pillar of the community with smashing results. And the street gal comes over to finish her off. Ooh, a fan gets a souvenir. And so does Tiffany, Hollywood's boot. Now the Californian sends her back to the ring. This could be a mistake. On the mat, her brawling advantage is taken away. They lock up. And Hollywood drops her with an arm drag. Her fans chanting in the background, obviously members of the early parole program. Ooh, what devastating bulldog! And that's enough to make you forget about your poodle. Tiffany is the victim of one of those dog days. They struggle on the mat. 
Both going for side headlocks. And they tumble right over the ropes, still maintaining their grasps. They're locked up like a crazy glue commercial. She forces her into that pillar. Ooh, and they both shatter it. The New Yorker finally seems to be getting the best of her foe. A fireman's carry. And she deposits the Californian on the ring apron. And that's the only type of apron Tiffany understands. She had her apartment constructed without a kitchen. She never planned to be in it anyway. <laughs> that Hollywood is nothing but a silly bean who styles her hair with a waffle iron. <laughs> Ooh, a big mare slams her down. Johnny C watches all of Tiffany's matches very carefully. He's always on the lookout for fashion tips. And she bounces on her with the keister bump. Ooh, Hollywood gets out of Dodge and the Golden Girls got a crumbled rumble seat. She ties up her legs, hoping to turn her into a human nut. But the New Yorker says, not today. A reversal! Woo, she was caught upside down, but the street girl collapsed her with a stomp. Hollywood setting up for the pin and get some help from the ropes. The extra leverage gives her the duke, and Tiffany can only feel this match has gone to the dogs. You give me that back! Here's the winner, Hollywood! Hollywood's on the back with more gorgeous ladies of wrestling! Dr. Grope, I heard there were three sure signs of aging. That's right. Uh, the first is loss of memory, and uh, I forget the other two. <laughs> I heard Tiffany pays to have a conversation. Yeah, she's always putting her two cents in. <laughs> Hollywood always makes a fashion statement. It's too bad nobody can understand it. <laughs> supporters are called hawks. Why is it when someone says to make a long story short, they never do? <laughs> Welcome back to
bad mama is here to stay Cause I do things my own way On the dance floor I can strut my stuff But in the ring I just kick butt Yes, he does! Yeah. One fall match, handicap two against one Johnny C, I see you did it Look at these two country bumpkins What do you call this? This is not competition Heck, I could take six of these kind on Any day of the week with one arm tied behind my back Let's see what you can do, Mama. Let's go to ringside for this handicap match. Big Bad Mama not thinking much of her opponents. Well, why not? She outweighs them combined by 200 pounds. She grabs Babe and hurls her over the ropes. The voodoo queen has held her own against some of the top teams. The country girls are in for a fight. Have you ever noticed the only way to get a big old heifer like Big Bad Mama to move fast is to tell her there's a side of beef ready for supper. She has the farm girl over her shoulders like a scarf. Ooh, and she bats the rodeo gal in with her. Big Bad Mama says she's in the best shape of her life and she'll swear that on a stack of pancakes. The Oklahoman tries to ride her like a bronco You know, Tulsa, you really do belong in the rodeo instead of this wrestling ring because all you know how to do is throw the bull around. Irish whip and a big bad beal. There's a crowd in that ring and most of it's big bad mama. She's got Tulsa up. Whoa, babe nailed her with a drop kick. The rodeo girl holding it down. The farmer's daughter trying to get our foothold on that big bad mountain. And the country girls pull off the upset of the year. Upset is the only way to describe Mama, too. Listen, Boogie, if you want me, just whistle. You know how. Just put your two lips together and blow. I'd rather dial it again, sweetheart, and talk to any glow girl. That's 1-900-234-4GLO. But that'll cost you $2 a first minute and 45 cents each additional minute. That's right, sweetheart. And every time I dial the new and improved number, 1-900-234-4GLO, it's the beginning of a beautiful friendship. On the air with Godiva, giving you all the bear facts. Yes, are mailmen attentive as boyfriends? Oh, certainly. They always carry out your wishes to the letter. <laughs> Next caller. Yeah, baby, I bet I could give you a burning sensation in your heart. So could indigestion. Why, you so... Next caller. Godiva, my boyfriend likes to juggle cats. Should I break up with him? I think so. You'd better get out before the fur really starts to fly. That's all for now, loves. Talk to you soon. Big Bad Mama hasn't seen her family in eight years. So what? She hasn't seen her feet in ten! <laughs> hey, Star! I heard Tulsa came to Las Vegas in a large group! Yeah, a stampede! Loser becomes the winner's slave, and you lost. You have to do whatever I say, and I say you sleep in the gym tonight. You're such a witch. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! You 
Yoo-hoo. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? <laughs> I ain't no witch. Tell that to the other girls. <laughs> Hugs, I don't think we're at the gym anymore. That's right, you're in the land of R. How can I get back home? You have to go see the Wizard of R. Maybe he can help you. Well, how do I find him? Just follow the yellow brick road. Well, I don't see any yellow brick road. Oh, yes, we, we ran out of money for yellow paint. This is a really cheap show. Really? Finding myself. So long. I'm Good luck. Good luck. Ta-ta. Now, which way do I go? Well, I'm going to visit the Wizard of Oz. Would you like to come with me? Sure. I've always wanted to go see him, but I could never figure out how to get there. Another scarecrow. I ain't no scarecrow. I'm the tin rock and roller. Ow! I was doing an L the shimmy and I got all tied up. So let's pull her out. Yeah, let's. Uh, 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 leg, get the leg. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Why didn't you ever try to pull yourself out before? I just didn't have the heart. You don't have a heart? That's right. I'm such a music lover, I followed Tony Bennett and left mine in San Francisco. <laughs> no, I don't have a brain. That figures. I need courage. Well, we're off to see the wizard. And I'm sure he can help all of us. But we better hurry, because my visitor's visa's almost out. Oh. Ah! Oh! This is it, the home of the wizard. Well, where is he? I'm coming. Keep your shirt on. You're the wizard? Who were you expecting? The amazing Kreskin? Well, you have to help us, Mr. Wizard. I need a brain. Is that what you think? Uh-huh, that's what I think. If you can think, you got a brain. Oh. Hey, Pops. I need a heart. And how do you feel without one? Lousy. If you got feelings, you got a heart. Oh. Um, I, I need courage. Is that why you came here? Yes, sir. If you have the guts to make this trip, you got courage. Oh. <laughs> well, I have to find my way back to the Glow Gym, Mr. Wizard. What do I look like? A travel agent? You're on your own, kid. <laughs> now the Wicked Widow is going to get me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. Now that I have my courage, I'll protect you. Yeah. We all will, I think. Uh, not me. Why not? I may have a heart, but I'm not going overboard. <laughs> but my visitor's visa is about to run out. Oh. <laughs> That's right. And I'm counting the seconds until I own you. Nothing can save you now. <laughs> 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 oh, wicked widow. 
I can. Well, why didn't you help me sooner? I was busy at the whole show. Besides, how was I supposed to know the wizard was a dud? Well, you better do something fast. Don't rush me. I'm an artist. Please? Oh, all right. If it will stop your whining, just click your heels and say, there's no place like glow. <laughs> there's no place like glow. There's no place. There's no place like glow. There's no place like glow. There's no place like glow. Thank goodness it was only a dream. What's the matter, Daisy? Hit your head on the doorway again? <laughs> no, I heard there's gonna be a glow movie. Is that true? That's right. Oh, I wish I could be in it. Can I audition for a part? You don't have to audition. I don't? No, you're the first one I'm gonna cast. Really? I know you'd be perfect. Was it because of my screen presence? No! It's because of your clothes. My clothes? Why? It's a rags to riches story. <laughs> it's coming. Glow the movie. Come in. Hollywood. Hey, what's this rumor about a glow movie? Where'd you hear this? I picked it up on the street. That figures. That's where you get everything else. So, what's the story, wimp? The rumor is true. Great. Where do I sign up? For what? The Foreign Legion? You can't do a glow movie without Hollywood. But this film calls for experienced Actresses. So what? I've been in front of the camera a million times. Yeah, for mug shots. <laughs> it's coming. Glow, the movie. Turning the silver screen black and blue. to get underway. Fiji, what do you have there? Fiji, what do you have there? Johnny C, this is a totem from Final Power American Samoa. It's to ward off the evil spirits, especially with the voodoo queen here, Big Bad Mama. Johnny C, we're not going to have this. She can't bring that stick in here. She be wanting to hit me and one of my girls upside the head with, and look at us, we ain't got no weapons. None of us got no weapons. I don't see any weapons. I don't see any weapons. Well, well, Fiji, I think she's right. I think that you should not have brought that tournament. It could be considered a weapon. No problem, Johnny C, no problem. 
I'd like for Zelda to present this out. We have some fans here from Chicago. I know it'll be in safekeeping, just as long as we have a good, clean fight. Right, ladies? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mom, Fiji. Mom, Fiji, thank you for your consideration and your good sportsmanlike conduct. Zelda gives it to a fan for safekeeping. Oh, Mama bails out. But a shock troops jump in, arm to the teeth. And Johnny C said he didn't see any weapons. Sure, he was probably blinded by his own nail polish. This, the largest women's battle royal ever. Another glow original. The only way to be eliminated is to be thrown over the ropes. And with Fiji and Big Bad Mama in there, that's a tall order. The mountain collapses, Sarah and Mabel and the farmer's daughters. With 30 grapplers in there, there's bound to be a pile-up. Daisy pounds away on Ninochka. And Justice adds a shot. They just might make borscht out of her. The key to winning a battle royal is survival. The giant Samoan grabs the hoods. Whoa, and eliminates them both. The Russian locks up Daisy. Beastie batters justice. It looks like their feud has ignited all over again. Godiva, triple teamed. Each girl getting their kicks in. The Briton needs to save her skin. After all, that's the only thing she's got on. It's hard to follow all the action. Two of our cameramen already came down with whiplash. Dementia is caught in a double scissors. Tiffany and Vicky Victory doing their best to cut her down to size. And a big headbutt staggers the voodoo queen. And Maba may be contemplating mass hypnosis. The two giants lock up. Fiji has won more battle royals than any female grappler around. She's a favorite to win. And Mama is nobody's favorite. Daisy shoots off Ninochka. The beefy Bolshevik was cooling her heels in the corner, hoping to stay out of any real action. She's no red, she's yellow. The future shot corralled both farmers' daughters. The Russian comes to help out, sure, after the hard work is done. MTV's caught by the ropes. Woo! A double backdrop eliminates the superheroes, Thunderbolt and Lightning. Cheyenne Shear stomps Hollywood. But the street girl ties her up. It's best not to spend too much time on the mat, or else he'll wind up with more footprints than Hollywood's Chinese theater. Although the numbers have dwindled, it's still a long way till someone collects the $30,000 prize. And most of it may be spent on doctor bills. The Indian works over her foe in the corner. Hollywood is crazy. If she doesn't win the match, she might steal the check. <laughs> Tiffany bounces the Soviet off. Melanie's grabbed Fiji's totem. And the voodoo queen has her in the corner. But the Samoan takes her over. Now Mama takes the totem hostage. And the mountain's coming out after her. She's eliminating herself to reclaim her cherished possession. Sally and Ninochka wheel each other around. And they eliminated each other, both going over the ropes. Beastie and the British are set to double team the Golden Girl. Chair holds the rock and roller off the corner. And Daisy grabs Dementia. 
and dumps her over the ropes. The hatchet woman is out of it <laughs> in more ways than one. Eight girls are left. Anyone can take the match. These grapplers wouldn't give up even at gunpoint. The musical menace catches Cheyenne Chia off the ropes. She dumps her over the side. And Vicky Victory sends her overboard as well. The Future Shock eliminates the Park Avenue girl. And the Pom Pom girl finds herself next on the Big Apes menu. She tosses her out. And then there were two. The Big Flower and the Wild Woman are the only ones left standing. They lock up, each one trying to bowl the other, neither one wanting to give an inch. Whoa, but it's bye-bye, Beastie. Daisy takes the largest battle royal ever. Mabel, what? Can you make a sentence using the word Irish? What's that? Irish. You know that. You are so stupid, Mabel. You know what is that? Oh, okay, teacher. I got a sentence for that word. Irish. I was in Dixie. My date, Tulsa. Oh, babe, he is so anxious. He's gonna send you a telegram. <gasps> really? That's right. I heard him say that he hopes you get the message tonight. Oh, <laughs> what have you heard about my vote? Well, I heard he has to put his attorney to sleep tonight. His attorney? How do you know that? Because I heard him say he was gonna lay down the law. <laughs> Welcome back to the This match is for the Globe Crown. Introducing first the challenger from parts unknown, standing six foot two, the awesome Daisy. They say I'm bad, they say I'm good, but I have been misunderstood. All my opponents fight like crazy, but they'll never be as fresh as Daisy. The champion and the number one contender for all the marbles. She catches her with a shot. And ooh, a snap suplex. Cheyenne Chair has defended her crown with honor against the likes of Godiva, MTV, Beastie, and Tanya. And that crew makes a rogues gallery look like the Brady Bunch. Ooh, a big boot drops her there. The tall grappler has worked long and hard to get this title shot. Ooh, the champ sidesteps another big boot and gives Daisy the boot instead. The last championship match of each season has always been a classic, and this one is no different. And let me take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped make our fourth season a smash hit especially the fine staff of the Riviera Hotel and all its employees. We're forever indebted to them. Daisy has a tall order, a match with me. 
The Indian carouser trying to cut down the flower. Oh, a big spine breaker turns Shale's tailbone into a jigsaw puzzle. The awesome one has become a master tactician in the ring. She's got more moves than a bowl of jello in an earthquake. She runs into the corner. Shale sets. Whoa, and leaps into a cradle takedown. The champ said, what the by daisy with that move? She clamps down a side headlock. Oh, no! Ooh, another devastating spine breaker. The Indian knew there was a crash coming with no parachute in sight. Her spine must be spelling out out of order now. Let me take another moment to thank our technical crew for all their fine work and a special thanks to you, the fans. You've made Glow the sensation of the airwaves and we love you for it. The big flower concentrating her attack on Cher's back. She's going after that weak spot like an arrow headed for a bullseye. Oh, Cheyenne escapes the takedown, but the challenger doesn't. Even with a sore back, Cher still flies more than a pilot on overtime. She scaled the corner. Oh, a beautiful flying body press. This could be it. No, the tall grappler rolls her off. The big flower has really come into her own, especially after dumping Aunt Kitty as a manager. She realized if she let Kitty keep on handling her finances, she wouldn't have any. Aunt Kitty loves to spend money, especially other people's. Ooh, the Samoan drop! The Indian's back landing hard on the mat. And right now, even landing on marshmallows would hurt. The six foot two grappler pulls her up. She sets up Cher. Daisy hooks her leg. She has her up. Whoa, and brings her down with a cradle suplex and into the pin. And Daisy has blossomed into a champion. I'm Hollywood. Sure, I like to have a good time, but I know enough to stay away from drugs. Drugs are stupid. It's plain and simple. Why do you think they call it dope? MTV, your A-OK DJ. We're really rocking tonight at the Glow Connection. You know, it's a shame more people don't have music in their souls. If Alexander Graham Bell did, he would have taken his calls on a saxophone. <laughs> I don't think that the good girls are into the music scene, though. I told Babe, the farmer's daughter, she could tickle the ivories, and she sat there going, Coochie coo, coochie coo. Yeah. Woo! I'm gonna have to ban Nanuchka from singing altogether. She's just plain lousy. She couldn't be on key if she stood on a locksmith. Woo! got really big feet. Yeah, her shoes can house a family of four. <laughs> <laughs> That's big. <laughs> Cheyenne Cher is as light as a feather. Especially between the ears. <laughs> <laughs> How come Aunt Kitty never made it as a matador? The crowd couldn't tell which one was the bull. <laughs> If you want to glow, just wear one of these. <laughs> glow, get it? No, Dad. We didn't make any money tonight, but I think next week will be better. 
Listen, I'm ready to hammer out a new deal and... What do you mean I was better off as a carpenter? Hello? Hello? Hey, Squid! Where's our money? What are you two talking about? We won that tag team elimination match. You owe us $10,000. That's right. Hey, wasn't that decision still up in the air? You'll be up in the air if we don't get our money. Well, can I write you a check on account? On account? Yeah, on account I don't have the money. Right. Hey, hey come on, you guys. Hey, 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 hey.